Hello folks and welcome to my vlog. My name is Mario O'Brien and I'm doing a 90 day challenge to produce a vlog every day for 90 days. And today I'm going to look at the latest firmware upgrade to the Osmo Pocket and it is a game changer. It changes the whole aspect of the use of this camera. But first here's a minute of b-roll. The most important change, I think, was the adding of the Pro Mode to the Osmo Pocket without having the DJI Mimo app open at the same time. So now we can go into the Osmo and we can change the Pro settings. And I will show you that in, in a second. And the second thing, we can now switch between AFC and AFS focusing without the DJI Mimo app. And one of the, the best things for most filmmakers is that they've added D-Cine-like pro color profile to video mode. And there's one or two uh, updates that they've put in. They've increased autofocus speed when moving the Osmo Pocket quickly. They've reduced focus pulsing in some situations, such as when shooting the sky or shooting at night. And they've optimized face detection. Now, there's one thing they have advised, and it's worthwhile noting that uh, use the auto calibration after updating the firmware. And I think this is probably a good advice at any time. And if the update fails, then restart both the Osmo Pocket and the DJI Mimo and retry. Now, there is also an update to the DJI Mimo that's of less interest to, to me, I think, because what they've added or what they've improved is the um, uh, the story part of the app which quite frankly I've never used and probably never will. However if you want to find out more about that then uh, download the update to the DJI Mimo and have a look. But let's have a look at the effect on the Osmo itself. Right, so here we have the Osmo Pocket and as you can see, we have nothing on screen. If I drag down, and we've now got five things that we can do here. We can change AFC to AFS, and back to AFC. And here we can go into Pro, and this is the main thing. Now, tap to enter Pro Mode settings. Okay, so we tap the top. We can go decently like or normal. We can go white balance, auto or manual, or sunny, cloudy, etc., etc., etc. I'll leave it on auto for the moment. We can change the volume from high, low, mid, moderate, or auto. And we can change the exposure. I have it on manual with auto, but I want manual. Uh, it would appear that I can't go below 120th for some reason or other. Not quite sure, but that's possibly because I'm, oh, I know why, because I'm on 
um, I'm on 4K slow mo. Sorry, I'm on slow mo. If I go back to video, then back into pro mode, and now exposure, I can put it back to 150th and I can put everything back to auto, or I can change the ISO manually, like so. And then, of course, I can change the, uh, the exposure plus or minus manually as well. Okay, so, and switch between auto and manual. So that is, I think, quite fantastic. We can now dispense with the DJI MIMO app for a lot of our run and gun filming. <clears throat> we'll still want it for if you if you need to see the screen uh, on a big screen. We'll still need it for that. But uh, for most things, we will be able to do just now on the MIMO itself, which is, I think, superb, superb. So that's it. If you've enjoyed this, then please give us a like and please also subscribe if you're not subscribed already and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'd love to hear. So that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.